back with Angus and that you can train him 500 times a day. Honestly, with this methodology, and it just, the more I think about the, after 20 minutes, it's walking perfectly, or after, in only 25 minutes, it's walking perfectly. All right, but what about tomorrow morning after it's rested? And you start the whole sequence over again. And it's pulling, and so now after 25 minutes. If after 25 minutes it's tired, what's the handler? Anyway, it's going to start raining in a second, but I'm going to work on getting him to, hello, Sonia, pick up the keys. So this is what we have for keys in America. Lock, unlock, and honk your horn. <laughs> so I'm still going to have my, and I don't want to throw him down at all. If anything, I'd rather him be somewhere else and then I'll. I'll just set them there. It's hard to set them though because they make a lot of noise. He'll go off in a second. So cute. So I'll try to set them over here, kind of behind me. Two, cute. All right, I'll try putting them on the footstool. You know, I think they're easy to pick up because it's got different, unless it falls in the middle. Set it there. I was gonna get the white footstool, but then I, I said I should just get white paint, paint these white. <laughs> That's how my life works. I, because I, I just I already have the white paint. Alright, so he doesn't see it there. I have to just it's my job to keep looking until he Now, if he said, why does it see it? It kind of blends in. See, you can see it. Like I said, it fell in the middle. I don't think that'll stop him, though. <laughs> he seems like the type you can teach him to just knock it over. I gotta be careful though, remember that he doesn't dive off into the bush. They seem to understand that hand pulling back thing as You know, make another attempt, make another attempt, you know, the, uh, what would they call it when the space shuttle hooked up or whatever? The docking failed, the docking failed, that's what it is, it's a docking maneuver, it's a docking maneuver.
are you going to try to pick that thing up, watch? You lucky. No, then he saw it. He saw it. He, do he saw it and he dove right on it. Oh, I bet he can pick up a lot of stuff. Oh, mommy needs to go get all kinds of... I just... That's what I should do is just go get blank keys. You can, I'm sure you can pick up the phone. All right, I'm going to put it down here where it can't be seen. But then I'm going to look over that way. good. He's pretty good. You know, I'm just, I'm saying to myself, he's got the subclinical behavior of running off. You better be careful. You better watch out with your, he's being so good because then the next move, you know, if you're there, Shelly, I mean, you've got to get past all this girl. You're not being the behaviorist at all. If this dog just attacked a labradoodle, it can't be a surprise that it's done this to this other dog. It's more like, you know, it would be a surprise if it didn't do it. So I definitely don't get around any more dogs now. You're just giving it chances. Oh, you little footstool picker-upper. All right, I'm going to try walking and dropping the keys. This might not be a good idea. You have to be willing to at least try stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, he's been here maybe a month. But, I mean, you see, it's a process. It's... It's, you can't train them in two weeks. And that's why when people follow somebody that only trains for two weeks, I mean, their question should be, how, what's the longest you've ever trained a dog? And if the answer is two weeks, that's not good. If you said, what, does that give them lack of insight into any long, dis, you know, long term use of this tool? I'm going to try dropping it on the way back and see if he brings it back up. <laughs> then I just deadpan as soon as I saw he didn't have it. He trumped it for the, if I can get him to go back and get it. He started to do it and I moved too fast. You've got to you've got to go fast though. You give him too much time. I'm just gonna look at it. He's not easy. He's not easy. So I can speak to him that way. I know I can get back over here and get it. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. So that kind of tells me. And I think that's your best bet, too, is to already get them traveling to the platform and then just throw that in there. He already gets mommy's keys. All right, I'll try it one more time. I'm going to try to stay to this side so he doesn't say to myself, I need to get just the right speed. It's a whole pizza. A whole pizza. He thinks that's pizza. Anyway. Hi, Steez. Oh, I'm sure you like this dog. Guys, young guys always like this kind of dog. That's pretty good, though. Unfortunately, my keys. But I just got him picking them up. But I'm saying to myself, if I can get him doing it from here, and get him doing it here, all I have to do is get him away from here, and I can probably get him back. I, I'm going to try. 
I'm just gonna kind of look this way. Fix it. I think I, uh, no, I think I might have fixed it. I put a little tape around there. Oh, he saw that lizard. Oh, hopefully, he gets distracted. I'll sneak away. That's what you need to do too. Just be careful, Lenny. They don't think you went out in the woods, but and yeah, we're moccasins. Sneak away. Oh, he's over there chasing the lizard. He catches him too. That's the crazy part. I mean, he gets him under his paw. Any kind of toys with them. I don't know how they're that slow. Anyway, hi, Melissa. That's what I want you to think of, girl. This is what these other people would call oh, extreme red zone dog aggressive. It's, it's as dog aggressive as I've seen. But it doesn't matter. Your approach is still, you're the friendly. I don't know, there was that girl, I can't find her. Now. I think she was a new friend that got attacked by the Malinois. I've I been trying to find it, but she got eat ass up by a dog, and it, it does change the way you see the world. Uh, and it is hard for people to come back after that. i got to go find her. But you've got to... That's why you have to not act with emotion. I think if anything, that clouds you, and, and that's what's clouding you. Um... Shelly is that you're shocked and disappointed and all these things that you know a psychiatrist doesn't say that that's they would say I didn't predict that outcome <laughs> you know not I'm disappointed I, I didn't predict that outcome so clearly I need to be more intuitive you know because after what you told me it seems like a pretty predictable outcome if your husband was forced to pull it off a labradoodle a few days earlier it makes perfect sense that we go after this other dog. All right, look, he's coming over there. Oh, he's going to poop right on camera. I don't even understand why they do that. There's five acres of land. <laughs> uh, well, and it, it is, it is. If you said psychologically, he believes you're, you know, nothing but acting on his regard. It's, yeah, that's, that's what he thinks. What he thinks, you know. If not, if he, they're not gonna run. Oh, he was picking up the keys and everything. Charles is so cute. Uh, we'll do it one more time for you, and then if it messes up, it's all Charles's fault. Uh, I had him traveling with it. Uh, you know, I think we're saying to yourself, well, gee, I've already got a dog that already travels to the platform. If I'm just adding one more tiny test. And he likes picking these things up. You know, he probably already knows about the... That's what this one sounds like when the people... And then, you know, then they're jingling their keys. Uh, so I was just kind of deliberate about my action, and then I went... I try to make it like I'm putting it in my pocket. And he's, you know, he's got joy. He's got joy when he's doing it. That's, you know, you, I don't think, you know, and I think we have to say to ourselves, trained retrieve is really meant for working dogs and stuff. You're, you're not going to have 
you're not going to be able to just take a retriever, a guy's trained retriever, and start slapping it on pet dogs. And if you said, why? Because they're breed blind. They're breed blind, and why wouldn't they be? That's the only kind of dogs they're putting it on, you know, is birdie bird dogs. And if you said, what's different about birdie bird dogs? A lot of things. A lot of things, <laughs> you know. If you said, what's, what's in common with a birdie bird dog and this bulldog? I mean, they, you know. They have the same number of chromosomes, but I mean, as far as behavior-wise, not, you know, not, not so much. Anyway, girl, I think you uh, can see. I, I think I just got him picking these up yesterday or whatever. He likes doing it, though. That's a fascinating part. So I think if we said to ourselves, a trained retrieve is not, that we maybe should assess dogs and decide, you know, I think any dog could get a shave to retrieve. And then you could start doing the transitional. If this thing falls apart, well, as far as he can go. Trade school for him. And then you could transition it to a trained retrieve. I, just, I don't see why you couldn't do that. There's probably some things you'd have to work out, but I think you could do it. Even, even with a dog like this, if you did it shaped long enough and then just got to an impasse and said, you know, just like everything else I've made you do, Anyway, I just, to me, that's, it, I can't, there can't be, if you search, in fact, I'll put this on YouTube, Old English Bulldog Retrieves Keys. If there's any other ones on there of them doing that, please.